So it's Sunday and I'm kind of late posting my video. Um, every time it's the weekend I always put off everything I have to do like responsibility wise. Normally off till Sunday because Saturday is the day you don't do anything. And then Sunday I, you know, do my laundry. If I have any homework I do that or, you know. So I just kind of put the video off till Sunday and then this morning I realized, oh wait, the cutoff date is Saturday. So, um, I was going to make my video, um, earlier in the week. My cat Mario is saying hi, by the way. But anyways, um, I was going to make my video earlier in the week, but it was homecoming and a lot was going on. Um, homecoming week was all last week and it was really fun. It was our last homecoming as far as being in high school and it was pretty fun. Um dressed up for all the days and everything. If you guys have me as, as a friend on Facebook, you probably saw those photos. Um, we dressed up for every day, and then uh, Thursday night was our senior sleepover, and then Friday was homecoming and the game and everything like that. Uh, senior sleepover was a ton of fun. Only got like three hours of sleep, though, three or four, and uh, I was so tired. But, uh, you know, homecoming was a really positive experience, and it was a lot of fun. If you guys have not seen Danielle, she cut off all of her hair and she came um, to the game on uh, Friday and oh my gosh, it looks really awesome. Uh, it takes guts to um, to do that because you never know how you're going to look without, you know, a lot of long hair and she had really beautiful hair, but you know, it's hard to maintain hair as girls and if you don't have the energy to you know it's just anyways it looks really awesome and yeah so it is Sunday my dad came home on Thursday Thursday Wednesday night and then yeah so he came home he's been home and he's leaving either tonight or tomorrow and it's kind of sad because he has only been here for like a couple days I really don't want him to leave but um, anyways, next week, this, la uh, this next upcoming school week we have, uh, is our last week until we get to go on to fall break, two weeks off of school, so I'm really excited for that because I want the weather to cool down, I want it to stop being hot, I want to be able to wear whatever I want to wear, I don't, I don't want it to be hot, I'm so tired of the hot weather, I just want to be able to wear a sweatshirt to school if I want to and not be like sweating and yeah I'm tired of the hot weather and stuff but it is officially fall um it's still supposed to be in the 90s all week long but you know hopefully this upcoming two week break will give it time to cool down so uh yeah I um went to the AT&T store with my dad on Wednesday Wednesday evening, and, um, and with Dylan, and we, I traded in my phone, uh, for the iPhone 4, because it's now 99 cents or whatever at the AT&T store because of the iPhone 5, so I traded in my other phone, and I'm without a phone until the iPhone 4 comes in, because it wasn't at the store, they had to order it, so it's gonna take some time, and I'm without a phone until then, so it's kinda sad. But it was a decision I made because I've always wanted an iPhone and I'm definitely not going to get one that's new because, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm without a phone for a while so that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious like how many people are going to throw away their iPhone 4 or 4S and just run out and get the iPhone 5. I mean, I know it's like the coolest thing to have like the most updated, you know, whatever, but... Really, the iPhone 5 isn't that much different from the iPhone 4. I mean, I understood the transition before, like, the 3GS or whatever to the 4, because it was, like, it looked totally different. Like, it looked a lot cooler, yeah. And the design was different, and it was a lot faster. Like, I understood the transition between, b between the 3 and the 4 and why people would have switched, but the 4 and then the 5 are not that much different. I mean, it's taller, it's a teeny bit faster. You know, there's a little bit, like, there's a couple changes... 
Um, but the look, like, the design is completely pretty much the same, except for it's a little taller. I mean, why would you throw away, like, a really expensive phone just to go get the newest thing? I mean, I don't know, I just, I feel like, I mean, I guess if you have the money to throw away, sure, but really, like, that's a lot of money to waste. I mean, Apple comes out with too many new phones, is my opinion. I mean, just keep the newest one you have for, like, a while, and then just update it and stuff. I mean, I don't know. But, I'm still excited to get it, because I'm, you know, I have an iPod Touch. And I really like the way that, you know, it works. I, I know how to use it. It's simple, and, you know, that's why I've always wanted an iPhone, because it I like the way it works, and, you know, I don't know. So I'm excited to get that phone and everything. Today, um, my dad... Dylan and I went to the church in our new um, town, and it was really good. Um, we had fun, and it was it was good. And then my dad and Dylan are working on putting together our ice maker, so that's what they're up to. I'm trying to make this video longer than my other one because it was kind of like two seconds, but I have a lot more to talk about this week. Um, I probably just saying that jinxed me, and I probably won't be able to think of much more to say. But, um, uh, yeah, today's Sunday, I have laundry going right now, which I don't know why that's important to tell you, but you get to know anyways, um, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, yeah, we only have one more week of school left until we get to go on break. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up because it is getting a little bit long and I don't know how many people are actually going to watch this video, but sorry, it's a little late. Hopefully it won't happen again next week, but if it does, sorry in advance because it just might happen. Um, yeah, alright, well, I hope everybody watching this has a lovely upcoming week. Let's all hope the weather gets a little bit cooler in California and in all other parts of the United States. And we will talk to you later.